So from a mechanical standpoint, schemas define rules. And the kind of rules they define are really quite straightforward. They are the first and foremost the rules of naming. What must everything be named inside of this instance, including capitalization? Is it articles with a capital A or articles with a lowercase a? It enforces the naming. Is it ID or identifier as an attribute? It defines the naming, the naming of all the elements and the naming of all the attributes. Second, it defines the hierarchy of what things can be parents and what things can be um, children. So can the item element have an ID attribute? The schema will say either yes it can or no it can't. It'll also say if that ID attribute is optional or mandatory. So these are the rules of naming combined with the rules of hierarchy. The rules of hierarchy define what can be a parent and what can be a child. And finally combined with the rules of cardinality, how many of those are allowed. So we're defining rules of naming, we're defining rules of hierarchical relationship between the names, and we're defining rules of cardinality or minimum and maximum numbers of those elements. Finally, we're defining rules of values. Inside the elements, inside the attributes, what must the values, what must the text nodes consist of? Should they, do they have to be dates? Do they have to be unique within, unique, um, uh, unique single words with, that are repeated only once inside of the instance? That would be an ID. Are they dates? That would be a date. Can they be text strings of only a certain length? That would be a string that has length requirements on it. So we'll get into detail about those rules and regulations and how to specify them, which will give you all sorts of headaches later on. But I want you to start from a simple understanding that it's really the rules of naming, the rules of hierarchical relationship, the rules of minimums and maximums or cardinalities, and the rules of values that schemas define. And all those rules put together, believe it or not, can define just about any kind of model that you can think of.